The heliocentric model states that the Earth is tilted on an axis and spins around the Sun and this is what causes the seasons according to that model. The Earth is said to rotate once in every 24 hours as it revolves around the Sun and I'm going to show you why this is problematic. In this animation you can see that the axis is pointing toward the Sun. As it moves around the Sun the axis does not change. It continues to point in what I'm going to call universal south for the purpose of demonstrating this animation. Um, as the Earth goes around to the left side of the Sun it will be in the position of spring but the axis is still facing what we're calling south. Now in the northern position we're going to call this location under the axis say Canada. As the Earth moves around to the left side of the Sun the axis is pointing the same direction that means every 24 hours Canada is going to end up right back where the axis is located in the southern position. You can see that Canada is no longer facing the Sun when it should be noon because one rotation puts you back at noon again remember that. You have to disregard what you're seeing in this animation on the actual globe because you know they're not being consistent keeping the land mass facing in the direction it's supposed to face. They're just spinning the earth and making it go around the sun. But the truth is that as it spins around every 24 hours the direction that the axis is pointing we're using that as a reference to show you where the landmass should have ended up in that 24 hour period and I'm going over this over and over again because it's really hard for some people to understand this now this is not about the bulge in the earth it's not about the um, the way gravity works or anything like that we're talking specifically about geometry and the way um, their own science is flawed. If the axis is constantly pointing in the same direction then every 24 hours whatever started in alignment with that axis has to finish in 24 hours. So as it's moving around the Sun any object moving around another object is going to lose arc seconds. It's going to have to speed up its rotation in order for the same landmass to, to be aligned with the Sun again as it's moving around the Sun. I hope this is very clear because this is not the only um, flawed element of the heliocentric model. There's so much that's wrong with it and I'm going to do video after video to show that one I'm not stupid that I know scientists are not stupid so they're either lying or they also have been tricked by some of the inverse opposite sort of trickery that is used to when someone's trying to prove their theory. It's important that people understand that this is very very difficult for any scientist to say oh I was wrong or I was tricked. I mean it's hard for the average person to but when you have an entire community worldwide that believes a certain model is the truth it's really hard to convince them that it's not. But if you set your ego aside and you also realize that there are people in the world that seek to dominate and control and they use magic and trickery to do this then you have to be open to the possibility that someone might actually be lying and using these methods of trickery to deceive people so that they can remain in control. It's not a conspiracy theory, it's the way the human being brain works. Um, it's a survival mechanism and when many many people with the same mentality get together they call it a secret society or a club where they all use this kind of trickery and underhanded techniques to deceive people. It's not as far-fetched as they would have the mass population believe. They want you to believe that anyone saying anything against what is mainstream accepted science is crazy. Anyone saying that there's a conspiracy is crazy. 
So that keeps most people from questioning anything. And I say, question everything that you're probably smarter than you think.